Hello everybody and welcome back once again to the final episode, I guess not once again, but welcome back to the final episode of the uh, stuff that was recorded four months ago. Uh, the episodes after this one will be all from like in the, the last week or so. Um, but thank you all for watching. I know it's been a long time and those of you who hop in to watch after such a long hiatus, I really do appreciate it a lot. So, uh, without further ado, let's jump back in. Oh, Balfa, you're getting a kick out of this if it worked. Maybe I need to be, I need to have it equipped on Ash? Let's see. This is equip the Dawn Shard on the main character of your active party. This is a must. Do I have to touch that pedestal with this? Oh. Really? It has like good. Well, okay. I guess I would have done that on my own anyway, but I'm a product of the internet and I look things up. <laughs> I would have gotten there eventually because I, I actually just realized, like, the last episode, I think, that I had the Dawn Shard. Like, I, I knew I had it, but I did I had forgotten it was um, something you could equip. So. And I have I gave it to him because Balthier doesn't really have anything that requires MP and the Dawn Shard takes away your MP and gives you like a magic bonus or something. Let's try this again. Frick, why does it have a sword icon on it then? Aw, oh, I feel cheated. I was sure I was reading the signs right. I would have gotten there eventually. This is just a little bit more expedient. <laughs> At least I was kind of in the right direction, even if it was only in my head. And I was like, surely the game isn't that specific, but apparently it is. Frick, I'm not, I was getting ready to, to drink something. I am, whoa, no, I am not ready for this. to win. I don't have ash here, so. I don't know why it's decided to attack Pinello when she hasn't attacked it at all. Except for maybe a little bit. Whew. Oh, man. We're what are they doing? I'm like a mating dance in there. Oh, I don't know if we're ready for this. With this squad. Let's do...
I just poached that dragon, so that was cool. I I was hoping that was I was it's it's where you get to like capture low enemy or low HP enemies for or HP critical enemies for loot. I don't know what I got, but <laughs> anyway, that was rough. Uh, I don't. I think you guys probably saw when we walked in, but this is after several rounds of reviving people. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Like, we went through that. We got wrecked a couple times. Like, I, I used up several Phoenix Downs and high potions just to try to get through that.
Oh. Oh, okay. I knew we couldn't get through. Holy cow. Oh, shoot. I didn't realize that Fran also has Kira and Ray's. I don't know when I gave her those. Very nice. Oh, he triggered a... Oh, is that what that was? He triggered a regeneration? Are those sometimes nice? That's just mean. That's actually mean. Because then it makes you want to walk into those... Because there's that trap around that they're on this treasure chest. And uh, apparently, you can't call it a rejuvenation trap. You're like, wow, you're trapped into regenerating your health. It's like, that's not how that word works. Oh, anyway, <laughs> that's awesome. I'm glad. Was there something in that room? Oh no, okay, I see. I see where we are. We're on the other side of the main hall. Yeah, now I'm gonna be suspicious of all the things in the wall. This No, no, don't attack Balthier. Oh, it's immune to being poached. I can't, I can't kidnap this giant rock, but I can kidnap a giant dragony looking thing. Oh, is this is this actually the main hall? Am I back in the main? I thought there was another symbol. I think I'm in the back side of it. Hang on. Cause I when I saw these statues when we first came in. Yeah, because there should be yeah, yeah, yeah. We're in the back of it. When I first saw these statues when we came in. I was like, oh, those look like the kind of things that would get up in a Tomb Raider movie and try to attack you. Lo and behold. <laughs> Why isn't Fran attacking things? Like, as soon as she does something else, she, like, doesn't attack. Not always, just sometimes. So then Balthier attacks first, and he gets the aggro. Treaty Seeker Relic held this pedestal in brace, paths on untrod discovered. path is revealed. Oh, I should have gone the other way. Hey. So now I think I have to go back to the room I just fought in. And because that's where that whole row of stone faces on either side were. And there should be new paths. Where those were, yep. I wonder if it's a regen trap again, let's see. Oh yeah! That's nice. Cruel, but not convenient in the moment. Crystal time. A life. What? What? Crystal. Oh my. I was like, I've never. I was just about to say, I've never seen a green one. Oh my gosh. They mimic. There's mimics for everything now. Oh my. 
I'm gonna get mimics, right? There's already mimics in this game, but there's good and evil of all things, I guess. Oh, good! When we break the green ones that are mean, the nice ones show up. It's like the it's like the dark crystal stuff all over again. Jeez, all the statues. Why? I have the Nethosite. Mm, of course. I wanted to go over here because it looks like an like a you know maybe not a boss room, but kinda like a boss room or a treasure room or an end room of some sort. Of course you can't get in yet. Oh jeez. Oh no oh my gosh. Uh, I don't know I don't know if I'm ready for this. A darkness horse. Is this the squad I want? I don't know. It's the squad we're going with. Let's see if we can lure these guys out first, yeah. <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> Alright, all those guys. Time for Nightmare Horse. The, I, don't, I think it must be a, a side effect of sledgehammers is she disables a lot of um, like enemies that she hits with it. <laughs> wow, we are wrecking this thing. It helps that it's disabled, of course. But So it looks like this will potentially move. Yeah, oh, it's the, it's the base of his sword. So like maybe when it's like fully activated, he'll lift the sword and we can walk through there. But maybe now that we've defeated... Um, the monsters in here, this will... There's another one? Okay, time to, time to get you.
Hmm. I mean, at this point, like I've done everything with the Dawn Shard I can think of. Oh, well, okay. I had to get close enough. The statue bears an inscription that seems to have been left by King Wraithwall to Guardians Three. I trust that the worthy may pass, all others be shunned. Oh, okay. Only three of us. Oh, now you're now that door is unlocking. How great! How nice! Is this just unlocking a waypoint? Where's the dang damn sword, my dude? <laughs> Ash is impatient to get the power back. I don't know the, if the sword is going to be exactly what she thinks it is, though, because I don't know if it's actually a killing sword. It might just be a nethesite breaking sword. That was the impression I was under. You guys do anything? Any walls do anything here? It's kind of like in, um... Oh, Inuyasha, where his brother, like, had, like, the sword... That could, like, I don't know, what could it, like, rebind or, like, heal or something? Whereas Inuyasha's was, like, the fang or whatever? I can't believe I remember that. But his brother, whose name was started with a T, maybe? Who was, like, kind of a villain, sort of? He, uh, was my favorite, and I can't remember his name. But the show isn't named after him, so there. Um. But, yeah. His sword, I think couldn't hurt anybody, so he didn't like it. He wanted the fang one that Inuyasha got. So I wonder if that's what this sword is like, right? Where, like... Or that, like, you know, because apparently it breaks Nethesite, and he also rose to power with Nethesite, so it creates this, like, balance in power or something? I don't know. Touch it! Teleportation magic, no big deal. I guess the safe crystals have teleportation magic, don't they? Okay. Oh, so are these, are these... Is the door open now? The one that's over here? Right? I think it's on this side. No. Oh my gosh, I can't. <laughs> parry, these little bats can't parry. Wow. Oh, I love how instantly she brings them back when they die. Also, how did he die to these things? Oh, it's because Fran isn't attacking again. Also, they have lifesteal or something. I love how she she raises them so when people die, she raises them so fast. I don't even have to switch out who's in charge, you know? Comes back so quick. <laughs> Take that, you stupid little flying bat of doom. Dragon bat. I'll be mad if it is. Okay. It's not. Oh, jeez. Hello. Yeah. To be in balance with all things, one must clear out both sides. <laughs> These things eat me alive. <laughs> Super. 
switching to the woman who can do the damage. Did it come back? That that's aggravating. Or was there another one hidden in the wings? <laughs> and then there's these things. So close. That wasn't very good. Oh dear. Oh. Whoa. to get more gambits. I'm looking I was looking for like a weak a, one like that's like weak to water or whatever. And that's not how it works. Not right now anyway. these big fancy treasure boxes. A ruby ring. <laughs> accessories 15. I don't think I have anybody with accessories 15. to work our way down like this his entire body essentially that's gonna be gnarly like clearing the areas all the way down on both sides
not the zombies. You kill the bathhouse zombies? Like, oh geez. You obtained a strip of festering flesh. Why, boy, howdy, th thanks. It's exactly what I wanted. Oh, good, I can poke the statue. Read the inscription. The words seem to have been left by King Wraithwell. Guardians 3, face ye the blade with relic bearer. Join your fealty, you swear to me. You discover a mechanism in the statue's base. The statue looks as if it could be rotated. Rotate it. Um. Heck, if I know. Clockwise? I got a stone or something for doing it earlier. I hope it's not like a puzzly thing. Where I need to rotate it the correct way. That'd be a pain. Like on two different sides, you know? Anyway, I'm not sure how much I've rambled or talked or how long this episode's gonna go because I've been recording for two hours as I usually do when not a ton happens in an episode and I just ramble a lot. I didn't even listen to like an audiobook this time though. I was just chilling. So thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it and I hope to see you in the next one. A quick addendum here. I forgot to uh, thank my patrons. So I wanted to say uh, thank you once again to Scalamonger who is a sapling tier patron and to Riscalito, who is also a sapling tier patron. And I would like to give an extra special thank you to Christopher, who is a tree tier patron. And I know technically I'm not supposed to do shout outs for the acorn tier, but I'm so excited. I'll only do it once, <laughs> but I do want to say thank you to Sean, who I'm not sure if you're watching this series or Mass Effect or any of the other ones. Um, but I just wanted to say thank you so much. Now I have a little acorn patron. <laughs> So, um, thank you so much to everybody who watched, and I hope to see you all in the next one.